Welcome back to the Pew! Welcome back to Pew Pew Pew! And today we are going to talk about well, something we're completely unprepared to talk about. Oh, no, that would never happen. What is it? Painting your fingernails. Oh! <laughs> Oh, hell. Oh. So as as you pure well, can see... I should say, I will have, have to say, that the, the people here tonight are so irresponsible, they couldn't have even brought me fingernail polish to paint my nails to this table. Everybody's fingernails are painted here except ours. How oh, irresponsible of them. <laughs> Not that they care because they're all at the open bar. Right. In fact, that laughter that you just heard after my joke, had nothing to do with my jokes. <laughs> Somebody else was talking about something else. <laughs> so, my, Michael and I were talking about how when you have painted hands, you just like want to twirl your fingers. Yeah, more. and you want to touch things. Like, it would be very fun to ha handle this microphone right now if I had painted nails or I'm typing something on a computer and be like very interested in typing something. Yeah, it's much more fun to type when you have yeah. painted fingernails. Yeah, and in fact, um, when I, my, when what brought this up was I have, I read this article for Gay Times. And um, my editor was asking me, you won't believe this already, but I, I, I'm late. Every single issue is late. And, um, really? Yeah, I know, I'm late. And this week was almost two weeks late, and it's a month late. And so he, like, every day is like, where is it, where is it, where is it? And finally, I, I said to him, you know, if I had some fingernail polish, <laughs> my nails would feel like right in the problem. And that gave him this idea. I know, I think that was his response, too. <laughs> Well, Michael was horrified when I told him that one of the things that I like about having painted fingernails is when I'm jerking guys off, that I, I like to be able to watch my hand go up and down the cock right. and see my fingernails. Now you've got every, I noticed now you've got everybody's attention. Everybody turned around to the open box. Right, well, whenever you lose the crowd's attention, just talk about ah. masturbation and cocks and you'll get it back. So, you were horrified by that? Yes, because I'm the exact opposite. Uh, when I was on a, uh, a date one night, and um, I was embarrassed to take off my socks, because we were like taking our clothes off, and when we got to the socks, he was like taking my sock off, and I stopped, and I was like, oh, I, I think, uh, let's, let's give our socks on tonight. And it was like, you know, 98 degrees, high humidity, and everything. I was, I was like, it's a little cold in here, you know. Um, because I had uh, nail polish on, and I was—I thought that if I had taken my sock off, it would have—it uh, would have—it uh, would have turned them off. So there you go, sex and, with, and, and I won't, and I won't jerk somebody off with the painted nails. Sex with painted nails, sex without. So from I that, mean, I mean, you think you think it's a, you think it's sexy? I, I like it, but I guess it's not your cup of tea. Like, uh, you like guys? You think guys? I do. Yeah, I've had sex with drag queens. I know. I, and I, I think that's great. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's great? I think it's great. I I mean, thank God there are men who like have sex, but it's, it's sort of like, you normally a straight man wants to have sex with a drag queen, which is why I think it's so odd. Well, one of the, I which, like, which they will probably think is odd. I like the idea of having sex with drag queens because it's just perverse for me. Yeah. Like, I love the perversity of it, but it makes more sense to us anyway, I know. To the people out there in television land, it will not make sense, but it makes more sense to me for a straight man to have sex with a You understand that, right? And now a word from our sponsor. Welcome back to the view. Welcome back to the view. I don't know who would have an allergy to bar, but um, I I was just educated um, quite a bit on during the uh, during the break. Do you know what the pizza rat is? The pizza rat. Or the pizza rat. Or the rat turned into a pizza. No. It's not part of the pizza mafia. No, this is true. It's a, it's a viral video. Yeah. You know what the pizza rat is? What? Michael was going to talk to us about the ins and outs and do's and don'ts of party people. I'm the goddamn pizza rat. Oh, 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 oh. As seen on TV and on the internet, this is the pizza rat here live at the two and, and I'm just trying to get home. I work all day, every day, trying to get home. I'm taking home like, fucking a little bit of cheese, a little bit of pizza, cheddar, little cheddar, little cheddar, maybe some pepperoni for my kids. 
for my chillings. Well, fuck you, pizza rat. Well, um, fuck you. Well, yes. Well, well, thank you for yeah. yeah, Fuck you too. Yeah. Fuck you too. Yeah. Well, That's they, what I think too. Thank you for coming, pizza rat. I mean, I, I guess you're a viral video. Or you, or you're, you're, a, you're a viral something. I'm viral something. Viral something. Well, I, I hope that contagious. What can you do? Thank you for coming. That's the pizza rat, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I think we'll just end it right there. See you next time. Hands announced so far. Nobody doesn't even matter at this point. No, but we have a bitch. Bitches want to know? Sure. No, we don't have any more. Well, the bitches want to know who Pizza Red is. And we just told you that's who Pizza Red is. See you next time. Bye.